Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 890. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 890 to 895, click on the link below the video. In this video, we have some data and there are some discrepancies. Sometimes there's dots at the end, and sometimes there's limited and LT when there's um, only supposed to be one or the other. So this one right here, this one, this one should only have. Uh, limited or LD. And all we want to do is we want some formula to copy down the, the column and tell us when there are those discrepancies. Well, the dot is easy. We just go equals give me the right. Now the right says look here and please give me the character that is one in from the right. Control enter, double click and send it down. Now you can see right here, we may run into a situation where we have an extra space, so let's amend that. We're going to use the trim function. The trim removes all spaces except for single spaces before words. And so now you can see we get the dots. And then we want a true or false, so I'm simply going to say equals dot. That converts it from a text formula delivering a text item to a logical formula that delivers true or false. Now for finding uh, a cell anytime there's two words in there, we're going to use the search function. And search, we can say, hey, find some text within some text. So I'm going to say LTD within here. Now that's not going to work, but what it will do is it will tell me at what position does this subtext string occur in this larger text string. So control enter. And so it's 2111. But we're really interested in if there are two, both LTD and LIM, et cetera. So I'm going to, um, instead of putting a single value in find text, I'm going to put two values. Now, this argument is expecting a single value. So when we give it two, it will return two numbers when both are there. So I'm going to, in array syntax, uh, if I spell this right, put double quote, limited, I hope I spelled that right, comma, and then this LTT and uh, curly bracket. Now, this is array syntax. Enter. Well, there's nothing here, but let's copy this down. So we see a 13 and a 13 here. The formula is not going to deliver both numbers to the cell. But if I highlight this and hit F9, whoops, I only have, I selected the wrong one. F9, you can see it's delivering two numbers. So now I'm just going to say, hey, count. Count counts numbers. Now what it'll do, it'll give us 0, 1, or 2, or maybe more. And I'm interested in, for, for this data set, we're never going to have 3. We're just going to have the max of 2. So it's anytime there are 2. So again, comparative operator to create a logical formula and say one that's equal to 2. And sure enough, there is uh, a true. Now we really want one formula together, so I'm going to copy this. CC. CC opens the clipboard, right? And then I'm going to control C. If your CC doesn't work, you have to change the options. And now I want them both together. And so the idea is, as we're copying down the column, I need to check for one or the other. And if I get a true for either one, I want the formula to deliver a true. So I'm going to use the OR function. And I'm going to put my first logical test. The second logical test, close parentheses. When they both come out false, or will deliver a false. If this one or this one delivers a true, or will deliver a true. So when we know the kinds of discrepancies that we want, limited LTD or LT, uh, limited LTD or LTD limited, like we have here, or dots. Uh, that will do it. All right, see you next trick.